Hello everyone. I'm Fuyuko Iwasaki of Tsutori University, Japan. Today, I'd like to talk to you about investigation of temporal changes of gauge location during characteristic evaluation when viewing whole body photo. In the future, it may be common to interact with other using large display showing whole bodies. For example, we will interact through large display such as online presentation and online parties. Future online interactions will offer opportunities to gauge other people's characteristics. In Homer, it's essential to make a favorable impression on others. This is likely to remain important in the online space. In this study, we consider how observers alter their behavior when perceiving a familiar subject characteristic through display images in former scenario. Observers obtain a large amount of information through vision when they evaluate the characteristic of other people. For example, we consider the observer interact with the subject in a real space presentation. The observer is looking at the subject with eyes and the observer is evaluating the subject characteristic. In contrast, we consider an online space presentation. The observer is looking at the subject on the display with the eye similar to the real space presentation. And the observer is evaluating the subject characteristics. In this study, we consider gaze behavior as a visual function. Observer directs their gaze to a subject face, upper body, lower body, and other body parts in the online space interaction. In analytical study in cognitive science, researchers investigated the initial gaze locations of observers performing characteristic evaluation tasks. In the prevalence study, observers evaluated the impression of the subject in the image Observers initial gaze locations are measured. As a result, the gaze first fixes on subject faces in images. Based on this observation, the faces are important cue in evaluating subject characteristics. However, the researcher didn't investigate how gaze location temporarily shifts over other body parts of the observer for through at our face. In this study, we investigated how the gauge location of observer temporarily shifts over body parts of the observer for through at our face. We also investigated whether the temporal changes of the gauge location Valid when the characteristic work included in the task changes. To achieve this, first, we measure the time series of gaze locations of our observer looking at the stimulus images. Second, we calculated the distance from the body part of the subject in the image to the gaze location at each time. Finally, we evaluated the time series signal of the distance. In order to analyze the time series signal of the case location measured in the task of evaluating characteristics of human images, we formulated two hypotheses. Hypothesis one. 
When the participants are tasked to evaluate the characteristic of subject, the participants gave location temporary shift from the face from the faces of the subject to other body parts. Hypothesis 2. When the characteristic were included in the task change, the time series signals of the case location change. First, we explain a specific example for hypothesis 1. We consider a task containing characteristic work such as center or intellectual is assigned to an observer. The gaze of work fixes on subject phase. As time passes, the gaze location shifts from the face to other body part, such as the waist. When we assign a task with another characteristic work, the gaze location to shift differently over time. Second, we explain a specific example for hypothesis two. When we compare the time series signals of the gaze location between this one and this one, the gaze location at each time point differs because of the difference in the characteristic world included in the tasks. Common scenarios make people likely to hope to make a positive impression from another person. We use characteristic words, gentle, ambitious, unique, rich, intellectual, and stylish. We ask the question, do you feel subject in the characteristic world? For each characteristic word and each stimulus image, the observer answer is or no. For each observer, we use 100 stimulus images. Twenty-four people participated in the study. This is the eye tracking setting. We use the gaze point GP3 as a gaze measurement device. We randomly set the order of characteristic world. We displayed a stimulus image for six seconds and decoded the gaze location. We asked the participant to provide an answer. When the subject in the images were in various standing postures, the position of the body part differ between the stimulus images. We can directly compare the measured case location between the stimulus images. We consider detecting body part from the stimulus images. We use 12 body part from this one to this one. We show the example of body part detected in the stimulus image. We calculated the relative distances between the body part and gaze location. We explain how to calculate relative distances between body part and gaze location. First, we calculated the distance D from the observer's gaze position X to each body part position P at each time T. We show example of distance D for left shoulder. The distance D of T1 was calculated from the observer's gaze position X to the position P of left shoulder P3. The distance D of T2 and T3 was calculated using the same way. Second, 
We calculated the average distance from the body part B at time T using all the stimulus images. The average distance was calculated by this equation. We average the distances between left and right body part for symmetrical cases. We refer to the value of distance D were aligned in the time direction as the temporal changes of the gate location. We show example of temporal changes of the case location for nose, shoulder, and knee. We investigated hypothesis one by computing the average temporal changes of the case location. We calculated this equation using all the characteristic words and using all the observers. The vertical axis represents the magnitude of the value of D. If the magnitude is small, the gaze location is close to the body per on average. The horizontal axis represents time T. Each color of the line indicates each body part. Between 0 and 0 0.3 seconds, the average distance was almost unchanged. After 0 0.3 seconds, the average distance from the node continually became smaller, reaching a minimal distance at 0 0.6 seconds. We consider the participant started to observe the subject phase. After 0 0.6 seconds, the average distance from the node tended to increase to 3.1 seconds. In 3.1 seconds and 6 seconds, the average distance from the node gradually increased. The participant not only looked at the face, but also observed other body parts as well as the face after first looking at the face. We confirm the case location variously shifted to upper and lower body parts over time. We evaluated the average temporal changes of the case location for each participant. We calculated this equation using all the characteristic words. We applied hierarchical clustering to the temporal changes of the case location for 24 participants. Cluster one, cluster two, Cluster 3 and cluster 4 were acquired. We show figures of the representative temporal changes of the gate location for one participant in each cluster. We found 70 participants belong to cluster 1, 3 participants to cluster 2. Two participants to cluster three and two participants to cluster four. We believe there were individual patterns of temporal changes of the case location among a small number of participants. We also believe there was a common pattern among many participants. We investigated hypothesis two by computing the average temporal change of the gaze location for each characteristic world. In this analysis, we focus only on the norm. We calculated this equation using all the observers. Each color of the line indicate each characteristic world. 
between 0 and 0 0.6 seconds. The distances were almost common among all characteristic worlds. Between 0 0.6 seconds and 6 seconds, the distances increase and decrease over time for all characteristic worlds. Additionally, there were differences in the timing of the increase and decrease among the characteristic worlds. We found there were worlds with similar and dissimilar temporal changes with the case location among the characteristic worlds. We suggest changes in characteristic world probably cause differences in the temporal changes of the case location. It's our conclusion. Thank you for your attention.